Okay, so we have our light in here, we have our uh, IPR window, and we can see our shadows, right, on our object. And everything's great so far. Let's actually, um, let's go do something with this paint. So this right here, if I double click on it, this is a, um, a, a, uh, not an Arnold material. So if we go into our car and if we go to, let me see what this is, not the grid, the mirror, the body, right? And we click on this. What we're gonna do is, cause, um, yeah, car paint one. This is not what we want here. So we'll just delete this and we'll go to create and we'll go to materials. Well, let's go to Arnold surface, standard surface. So this is our uh, car paint. And let's just go right here and let's make it a, um, so used to the other one that has like the default. Let's just make this a, uh, no, let's, yeah, let's make it plastic. And we'll make it uh, pretty shiny. Let's make it red just to do it. So let's go to color and it's red now. And so now this will go on the car body. Now, if we go over here to Arnold IPR, so it's still kind of dark there. So we we'll just click on our quad light and let's make this 15. All right, so we're starting to see uh, some stuff going on here. We'll get inside of our camera. We'll select our entire group. We'll unhide this. You can actually like put that here. Um, we want to, we could put this here as well. All right, so let's go back inside of here because anywhere we have this, we should be able to place it anywhere and it should look good. All right, so it's definitely working. We see the shadows on the ground. Let's rotate this a little bit better. Let me press L. Okay. Let's go in here, turn down the intensity, 10. Cool. Now let's add ourselves a sky dome. So I'm gonna go to Arnold, Arnold Light, um, sky dome. We have our sky dome right here. We'll click on, well, actually let's do this. Let's go to Polyhaven. We'll go to HDRIs and we'll go to um, outdoor. Let's go to parking lot. Oh, we have one mall parking lot. So I'll just download this and this will be my HDRI. Ooh, it's in there. So let's add it, right? So we're going to go to texture. I feel like things froze. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. So I'll go to downloads. Mall parking lot. And what it does is, is it's the file is mall parking lot uh, EXR, but it always changes it to, to a .tx file. That's what Arnold does with your images and everything. Um, so let's go to, sorry, wrong area, IPR window. All right, so we see it in there, but we can also see the background of our, um, 
of our, uh, what do you call it, HDRI. And so in order to get rid of that, we have to go over here. So we click on the sky dome and we have camera, right? And camera one means that we can see our background, but we don't wanna see it. So if we go here and we turn it to zero, then we'll just see what's on our photo. Additionally, if we click on the sky dome light, um, we see our exposure. So if I was to go in here and turn down this exposure, I could get a different look out of this. And then because you know it's a sky dome, it can be rotated. So the shadow, as we can see right here, is now rotating because this is the shadow from the photo. So with this nice HDRI, we can get some uh, accurate lighting here. So the point of an HDRI is to uh, get more accurate lighting? No, it's just uh, where it's really bounce light. So the think about it like a light that's you're in a room that's dark room and you have a flashlight. So that light is like a direct light. There's no, um, I mean, it has a fall off and it disperses a little bit, but it's like, I mean, this is like a pitch, pitch dark, dark room, right? So that light is just hitting a certain part of the room. It's just hitting what's in its path. Now, HDRI light gives like bounce lights. So that means more light from the environment. So instead of it just being one direct light, like sunlight or like um, an area light or flashlight, it gives light that, because what happens with light is it goes to one area, it bounces off. So light will come from the sky, it'll bounce off the ground, go under that car and then bounce again, maybe come out here again and bounce off some other stuff. It keeps on bouncing, but the intensity uh, dissipates. So it's like it, um, runs out of um energy which but the energy really is just like the light so that's what hdri is doing it's giving like light from everywhere else it's not giving you like one direct uh beam of light okay that, that makes um, sense and i noticed when you were picking your hdri you wanted to find one that was a similar uh environment to what you're uh trying to replicate exactly to doing, right? exactly um, Okay, so would it be better to find a, a overcast um, HDRI instead of like a bright sunny one because then it's more of a spotlight as opposed to diffused? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You want it to get as close as you want and you also want to test and go back and forth to other lights. The only reason I just looked at this one and chose it because it said parking lot and because you know, I could go back and forth with lighting like all day because e even though that I have HDRI in here, it's not gonna be my only light. I'd probably go through and say, all right, I want to have a, uh, another light over here, or I might put a light in on this side. Depending on how I light this, I might put another area light in here or a few area lights just to fill it in. But um, yeah, this picture right here, it's overcast day. So the lighting isn't like the best or the crispest, but you definitely want your HDRI and that type of lighting to match your, um, to match your scene, so. This, this, I guess this tutorial is more about the process than, uh, <laughs> than me doing it 100% like to match the uh, scene. But you do want to definitely get it close. And I think you can get it close with random HDRIs, but of course, going back and forth and trying to find like that perfect one so you can get that perfect lighting is, uh, is ideal. Okay, thank you. No problem. Um, oh yeah, so we have this right here. Now, also what we can do, let's do this, right? Let's go to the car. Let's go to our car window. And we see it's got something right here. Let's delete this. And let's go to create Arnold surface, a standard surface. And we can name this glass. And we can go um, turn this to glass. And I believe if we go to transmission, we can make it like different color. So let's go here to, wait, did I delete the? Oh, I thought I deleted it. Wait, am I crazy? 
delete. All right. Oh, I'm okay. I did have it there. It just didn't look uh, transparent. No, wait. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. So let me go to Arnold Standard Surface. Double click on this glass. Turned it to glass. And we'll take it and put it on this car window. We'll take this one. And we'll delete it. Now, if we go to Arnold, IPR. All right, somehow um, I deleted material. So let's just go to Arnold, Surface, yeah, Standard Surface. Let's give it another color. Okay, so we have this in here now. And of course, we can turn tone it down. Uh, we can make this paint really wet, taking on the roughness. Didn't mean to do that. So we have their IPR here, and then we can go in and tweak this glass. So so I can say I want it a little bit more tinted. Take it into the blue area a little bit. You know, I could just mess with the transmission and the roughness. And then I can also go into, let's say, the rims right here. So we have our car wheels. We see all the materials right here. So let's go in, create Arnold surface, standard surface, Chrome. And I'll just double click on this and let's go to metal. And then let's give it some roughness. And then this will be my Chrome now. Give a little purple to it. Select all these, I'll delete that, and then I'll select this right here. So I selected them all, then right click on this and I'll go to apply. So now they all get that material, we'll go to Arnold, IPR. I would have thought they would have appeared. Oh, I got to do that to all these. So right click, apply. Apply. And this last one. Yeah, no, I didn't do it right. Select them all, apply, and then let's just go to Arnold, Arnold IPR. Okay, now we see that it's there. I put it on the, didn't put, didn't mean to put it on the tire, but I did. And so let's just do a tire texture just to get it out the way. So create Arnold and let's just go to 
surface, standard surface. We'll click on this tire. And then let's just go to, I don't know. Um, let's not do skin, let's just do thin. And let's just make this rubbery looking color. And so this right here, if we click on this, we go to our stack. Huh, where's the actual rubber on the tire? Is this it? Let's see. Yeah, that was it. Because if I was to go in and make this like black. Yeah, so we see it right here. So that was it. So we, I just need to find that rubber tire yeah so it's that one now just control click drag this so yeah now we now i got my chrome wheel got my green paint um i just need to change my glass <laughs> and that's it oh look car windows so let's just go to glass apply And there we go. So that's how you put your object on a back plate and, um, or object on a photo in Arnold. Of course, you know, pick better photo and better lighting and all that. And just to end this off, What I can also do is this as well. So I can take this, control click, bring another one over here. Open this up, click on the body, control click, make another one and make this like yellow or something orange. Just make one green, make one orange. And then I can also as well go to my quad light that I have set up right here. Maybe have another one in here. Now let me get back in my camera. Do Arnold IPR. So we have this one. And this now. And of course, because it's Arnold and it's 3D, we can go in here and tweak this to wherever I want it to be. Go in and change the wheels, everything. 
And anything you put in this scene, as long as it's on the ground or on one of these grids, it's just going to sit here and get the shadows from the lighting and end up looking pretty good. So yeah, and this is how you do a photo integration in Arnold.